Good evening. Um, how you guys doing today? Oh, it's good. So, not coffee. I made some uh, some hot chocolate actually. Uh, it's a little cold out tonight. Thought treat myself to something special. Uh, backing up several hours into the day. Um, it's a weekend, and I worked, because <laughs> that's what I'm doing right now. Um, I have to be a little cagey on a few things, um, because I'm doing some work projects I can't really discuss. It's kind of a pain in the ass, because it's all I'm doing during the day, and I feel like, what else am I going to talk about? Because it's what I'm doing, but I can't really divulge things, so sorry, but... Uh, the, uh, I'm working on some equipment projects that were going shockingly well today. Uh, and this is one of the things I was mentioning last couple days of, like, my time crunch got really tight. is basically over this. Um, but also, uh, Phil came in today, and we had a really good chat. He came by to pick up some guitars uh, and a few things. Um, and had a really good chat about the G3 tour, and then, uh, that's I'm really excited about that one. It's going to be a lot of work. Um, because myself and his guitar tech are kind of doing sort of quasi-production tour manager duties and, uh, because it's just the band and the two of us, so, um, it is going to be a lot of work. And there's like, there's six in a row, maybe, maybe two, like, which is kind of heard of. I, I don't, I've never done a six in a row. I've done five rows before, uh, but six in a row is kind of nuts. Um, but anyways, it, it should be fun. I'm looking forward to it and have a few products along with that like can't discuss just sucks uh but i also heard some news about next year with def leppard uh now i couple people have mentioned and a few of the band members had like alluded to some things in the press uh so i can't really say anything either way until i let you guys post a damn link where i go oh yeah that was said um because i'm not gonna get chewed out of mansion for spilling the beans um but I can say that next year is going to be a, a good one, a really good one, um, for a lot of people. So I'm going to leave that there, because I want to say something about it, because that was part of my day today, it was the best news I had all day, and I had some good news today. That was probably the best news. Um, but uh, yeah, it's going to be a interesting, interesting year. Um, I'll leave that at that. Uh, on an, another semi-related note to interesting year next year, uh, I'm still scoping out towns and all that fun stuff for, for where I want to move to and where I want to live. Um, I do love it in Southern California. It just, it's too expensive on home here. Uh, and it's just me. So, you know, like taking out a mortgage from paying, you know, to buy a house, you're looking at half a million dollars plus. Um, and that's, you know, that's living in a kind of crap neighborhood. I don't, I don't, I don't want to buy a townhome. I don't want to buy a condo because it's just like, it's like buying an apartment. Um, you know, and, and you know, $350,000 in LA is going to get you something in Compton that's burned out. Like it's, it's expensive town. So, you know, I, I don't want to get saddled with a $3,000 mortgage a month when it's just me. Um, not that I want to be saddled with $3,000 a month for the, three thousand dollar a month mortgage if there's two two of us but like just myself that's a lot of money um and it kind of seen so i am looking at other places um as i mentioned a couple of couple, couple days ago i was looking at some houses at rhode island uh i always spent any time in rhode island i think it's been providence once but uh i like the idea of it i kind of like intrinsically just like a little smaller state you know kind of quaint uh some gorgeous houses there for pretty affordable uh and they have basements so one thing I noticed a little farther south, people don't have basements. I like basements. I like that's where I grew up. Like Washington State, everybody had a basement in their house. We forget storage. You know, if you want to have a jam room, you put it down in the basement. You know, it's just it's a space where you can put tools and stuff. Um, and for some reason, farther south, you people just don't have those, and I I miss that. So, um, yeah. So I'm still looking around, but uh, it, it'll be a good twelve months. Well, hopefully less twelve months, but yeah, probably twelve months before I can. Where I can afford to uproot and uh, show up somewhere else. So, still searching. Maybe I'll find some cool towns where I'm on this uh, G3 tour because it's kind of going everywhere. Like, if, if you guys look up the on Polestar or, or uh, 
if there's a be better alternative Polestar, because uh, Polestar sucks now. Um, sorry, a little mini rant here. But Polestar.com, which is like you know, kind of industry concert touring uh, schedule website and with magazine and stuff, um, was like the best place to go when you want to find who is to like who is playing where. Type of venue, shows a schedule, type of artist, shows an entire tour. They did something, and it's it's horrible. They did this about last year, and basically everybody in my line of work was going, what the fuck, because a lot of us will find our schedules via Polestar then before, then, you know, before management will let us know, or, you know, whatever. Um, but, uh, yeah, so I guess I can't recommend Polestar, but you can fight through that if you want to find where the G3 tour is going. Just look up Joe Satriani. I think it's under Joe Satriani or G3. Uh, but it's playing a lot of places. Um, and if, if I'm coming through town you guys are at, hit me up. Maybe get coffee or something uh, if I have time. So, uh, Anyways, I'm going to finish my hot chocolate. Uh, which is very good. It's a uh, Trader Joe's salted caramel hot chocolate. Quite tasty. A little salty, a little caramel flavor. And um, go watch a little, uh, little Joe Rogan YouTube, which seems to be my, my YouTube obsession right now. Uh, his like long form interviews. Uh, there's a great one I watched in a uh, guy talking about mushrooms a couple days ago. Started watching one on, uh, with Billy Corgan today. Um, I'm a Billy Corgan fan again. This guy's really interesting. I you know like I, I kind of got kind of like he's a bit of a pretentious ass for the last 20 years, but um, it's kind of fun listening to, listen to him speak. So I'm gonna go finish that, and uh, I shall see y'all tomorrow. Uh, watch work again, but. Thankfully, the warehouse is only open for six hours tomorrow, so I can only do waste so much time there. Um, and uh, sorry about the being cagey on things. I'm just I'm kind of that stuck thing. I can't really devote. I mean, you guys know, like when you've got a job, you can't talk about everything until things are announced. So I'm stuck in that position with a lot of shit right now that I can't say squat about for for months. And it's annoying because it's occupying the majority of my day. Uh, I can't. I don't have time to film because I'm stuck there working on things I can't talk about. Oh, well. Um, anyways, yeah, see you all tomorrow. Thanks for stopping by. Ciao. Check you later. Whatever.